Hello. Oh, it's an orc. He won't talk to me. Neither of them will. What have we found here? Hello? You can fuck off. I should really use my, um, sword at the moment because we want to use... Oh yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we want to use those bolts that we've got left on those fucking uh, special guys. Oh, I would, but actually, you know what? We got enough weight. We'll carry it with us for now. If we have to get rid of it, we have to get rid of it. Is there like really no point to have come on up up here? I was hoping there's going to be another one of those book pages. Oh, we don't need that. Um, I wonder if we've got to give these book pages to someone. Oh, well, there we go. Another book page. Page seven. That's one of the ones we were missing. So, which ones are we missing now? One, two, and five. Uh, one, two, yeah, and five. I don't know if there's any more than eight pages. Oh, there's a book. Conjure Mist Man. Oh my god, there's a new spell. Hell yeah. Um, where is it? Um... Fuck yeah, let's try that spell out. It's, uh, Conjuration. Ah, it's an Adept spell. Oh, sweet. I got a little skeleton. Oh. Well, these guys just hid. Got anything for me? Ooh, oh yeah. I'm getting loads of soul gems in here. This place is perfect. We gotta come back here and fucking stock up on soul gems. Literally, just come back here and stock up with soul gems. That's it. Um. Why is this thing glowing? Oh, it's part of a fence. We can't go over that way. We've we been in this one. Where did my mist man go? Oh, he's there. Where's Serena? We've lost Serena. I've only just realised. Oh, we have been up this one. Right, well, I guess I'm going to have to go and find Serena unless we just stand still and wait and see if she turns up. I don't know where she is. Huh. Right, well I'm gonna go and look for her. I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, well I have to reload to back before I'd done anything this session um, to actually get her to follow me again. But I found whatever this is uh, appeared on the map, so um, it's the horse's skull. So yeah, I've got to go and kill that guy, the Watcher or whatever he was called, um, again. Uh, return of Anx Skull. Um, but yeah, so I've got to do that again, which is there. So I'm going to quick save it if she's still moving. Okay, I'm going to quick save it now. I'm going to go and kill him. I just wanted to show everyone that I'd found the horse's skull. Um, I'll be back in a sec. Right, well, I've killed the guy. Uh, the only thing we're missing now is the page four that we had, but I can't remember where it was. So, we're going to have to look for it again. It might have been in here. Did we go in here? I don't know, but there's loads of soul husks. Have we got enough of these here? Um, 
yeah we do so we will walk inside this building hopefully and I can I also went and collected the uh, spell book for the mist are we going in here I'm guessing Sure, where the fuck? Where are these people that are supposedly shooting at me? Oh, there's one. Oh, fuck off, this man. You're gone. You're gone, right? I don't think we're gonna come out of this alive. Oh, that was lucky. Who was shooting at me? Oh. Come on, you dick. Oh, our sword's not giving us a... Uh, we need to recharge our sword. I didn't realise that leveled up your enchanting as well. Right. Come on, there's gotta be a page in here somewhere. Come on. Oh, hello. I'm not gonna die like this. No, fuck off, Mr. Skeleton, man. It's only taken fucking forever for a um, one handed to learn it. Right, with that skill point, before we forget, um, let's put it in health. Um, yeah, health. And go straight to smithing and put that there. Awesome, now we can upgrade that vampire armor. There has got to be a book around here. A page, even. Um, come on, give me a page. Oh, I've got a sack of husks in it. No page, though. Well, I'm calling bullshit on that department. Fine, let's get down. Is that... That's where our mum is. So we were just over th there. We need to check through some more of these buildings to look for these pages. Let's quick save it again, just so that... In case she gets stuck on something. I don't know why she wouldn't follow me. I, like, Fuzro dard her. Um, but nothing worked. She just would not follow me. Um, we came from that direction, so this will look. Be God for my safety. I fearlessly charge the enemy. <laughs> what exactly you are you doing? How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? Opus? What do you mean? What do I mean, indeed? If I hadn't lost all of the pages, I wouldn't be in this predicament. Oh, and we okay. Wouldn't be having this conversation. Let's just start at the beginning. Very well. I suppose a moment or two of my time couldn't hurt. I am Jib. Some call uh, me Saint Jib. Others call me Jib the Eradicator. And perhaps you heard of me nope never heard of you i can't say that i'm surprised by your answer until i get my second volume published no one will ever know of my achievements uh you're talking about a book a book i'd hardly call a 26 volume epic simply a book surely you've heard of the rise and fall of saint jim the eradicator 
hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. Nah, maybe a shorter tower is in order. Maybe you should leave the writing to an expert. Stop making foolish suggestions. Well, just saying, you're dead, I'm not. How is your work going so far? Terrible. Simply terrible. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into this prison. It's unfair. Who threw you in? That damned Ramora and his minions. They didn't even give me a chance to explain who I was. A Dramora captured you. Well, I assume so. It cast a spell at me from some kind of strange black crystal. A black sodium. Next thing I knew, I arrived here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Your soul was trapped. My what? Wait. That means... Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. No. All these wasted months? Or has it been years? I don't even remember how much time has passed. A lot. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. Could I help? Perhaps. Do you have a way out of here? I do, but you can't leave that way. Maybe I can't leave. But my writings can. I suppose. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. Otherwise, I need to do all of this from memory. Okay. How many pages did you lose? When I was tossed in here, I felt myself falling. And I dropped the pages I had been on. There were ten of them in all. Oh, okay. Find them for me, please. I beg you. How did you earn your nicknames? Ah, yes. This ain't Jib. Jib the Eradicator. Jib the Magnificent. I've earned a lot of those titles thanks to my campaign against the Winged Menace. Uh, the Winged Menace? Yes. I'm speaking of the Cliff Racer, of course. Okay. Wretched things. They used to crisscross the skies over Morrowind like vermin. Nasty flying creatures with a habit of sneaking up on the unwary. Are you on about dragons? What was your campaign against them? After I was freed from prison, I decided to turn my life around. Give something back to the people of Morrowind. It became quickly apparent that the best way I could help would be by wiping out the Cliff Racer. Fair enough. Were you successful? Indeed I was. I hunted down and killed every last one of them. Took years. The people of Morrowind were so grateful to have the road safer again, they took to calling me St. Jip and then the other names followed. Fair enough. Uh, you said you were in prison. That was a dark time in my life. I did a lot of things I ended up regretting. Maybe that's why I worked so hard to redeem myself once I was freed. What did you do? I murdered others for money. So you were a mercenary. And before you think I belong to some romantic or secretive kill, think again. I was simply an addict who needed money for skooma. Oh. Okay. Stuff wasn't cheap, and murder always seemed to be in demand. How did you get caught? I finally bit off more than I could chew. I was paid to assassinate some high-ranking official from House Redirin. What I didn't know is someone had hired the Morag Tong to kill him as well. Ah, uh, okay. Rival assassin? Exactly. He got to my target first, and called the guard to cover his tracks. By the time I got there, the place was on alert. Walked right into a trap, and didn't even realize it until I was captured. Alright, oh, fair enough. So what ended up happening to you? They tried me for murder, threw me on a prison ship, and sent me to the jail in Vivek City. Gave me a lot of time to think. That's for sure. Why would a Dramora, a Dramora attack you? Well, that's a ridiculous question. Everyone traveling through here has said that the Oblivion Gates have been opening all over Tamriel. 
that was a long time ago. That was a bit before my time. Has it been that long? Oh my. That was like 200 well, years ago. It started with the followers of Mehrun's Dagon having Emperor Uriel Septim VII assassinated. Without a Septim on the throne of the Empire, Dagon was able to leave Oblivion through the gates and attack. Why was Dagon able to do this? All I heard is that without a Septim sitting on the throne of the Empire, the dragon fires in a place called the Temple of the One were no longer lit. This meant that we were vulnerable to the forces of Oblivion. Uh, what ended up happening? Well, I don't know. Everything seemed fine until that Dremora attacked me. I only heard later about the gates from the other souls. Fair enough. I can enough. only assume the gates have been closed by now. Well, yeah. Where were you captured? I had just moved from my ancestral home in Morrowind to the continent of Cyrodiil. I settled in the city of Kavach to write my memoirs and to find some peace and quiet. Is that where you were attacked? Indeed. One moment I was writing diligently, and the next, my door bursts open. It was a cadre of Dramora. The city was under attack. I took it upon myself to join the cause and fight the Dramora, thinking this would simply be another feather in my cap. Didn't work out that way, are you sure? The reason I'm standing in front of you as only a whisper of my former self should tell you that. I never knew what became of Kavach. I wonder if they were triumphant without me. Possibly. Anyway, I'm gonna Thanks leave you to it. Searching. I've still got six more of your pages to look for. Pages. Um Let's go this way. There's another one of the keepers that we have to kill this way anyway. And there's a page right there. Page five. Oh, it's one of the ones what you didn't find, but we've got it now. Who is hitting me? Oh, you. Do you want to knock? Prick. How is this bone man got it's more health than that great man? Last man, now he's going to do it. Anymore? Well, you go and deal with him while I sort out this shit. And oh, for fuck's sake, what? Um, I don't really need the ebony shield, but I didn't want to leave it there in the open because that means that when I come past here, I'm just gonna think, oh, maybe I didn't go up there. Oh, you're over there. Ah. Leave her alone, you bastard. Right, woman, let's go. Let's go up here. What I'm going to do is, once I've finished doing like the main storyline in here, I'm just going to go around and collect all the stuff that we need to to um, like get the book and hand the head of the horse in. And all that nonsense! Oh god! I found one of the keepers! This guy is a. mallet. Wow, I should have fucking quick saved. Oh, he has a two handed axe. Please tell me we didn't. we weren't that far away. I don't give a fuck about orphans at the moment. How far away were we? Oh, you're on a fucking bubble, aren't you? Alright, we're missing page five. Where is... <laughs>